Manufacturing more than 20 million cars domestically, China is the world's largest producer of vehicles. However, the rather young startup NIO remains one of the very few Chinese brands that are known outside of the country and actually sell their cars to the Western markets. Today we'll revisit NIO's lineup once again and we'll feature their latest models and technological achievements. So, if you want to be informed about the rising Chinese automotive industry, make sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell and stick around till the end of the video. Let's start the motors! NEO ES7 Size-wise, the latest NEO crossover sits between the mid-size ES6 and the full-size ES8. It accommodates five passengers, debuts the next-generation NT 2.0 underpinnings and acquires the company's evolved exterior styling. The X-shaped front end is no more, since the ES7 has a new shark nose fascia with the extra-thin DRLs. The sides are dominated by the pronounced wheel arches, while the rear boasts the air wing tail light that consists of 202 LED light modules. With its high-efficiency drive system that combines permanent magnet and power induction motors, the ES7 also has the potential to become the quickest new SUV to date. Its peak output reaches 653 horses and 625 pound-feet, while the acceleration to 60 is quoted at 3.9 seconds. NIO offers three battery sizes for the ES7, 75, 100 and 150 kWh, with 300 to 578 miles according to the Chinese CLTC testing. WLTP or EPA numbers are yet to be confirmed. Other immediate advantages of this model are its various driving modes, 5 basic and 5 scenario based, 4400 pound towing capability and a new generation Aquila safety tag that relies on 33 sensors, including a LiDAR. The cabin has NEO's usual design with a new 12.8-inch AMOLED display, latest software and a Nomi assistant. NEO ET5 NEO's second sedan model belongs to the mid-size segment, offering buyers plenty of interior space, sleek design and extreme aerodynamic efficiency. The ET5 has a drag coefficient of 0.24 despite preserving its muscular exterior and carrying multiple sensors on the roof. The sporty sedan rides on a 5-link high-performance suspension, has a 50-50 weight distribution and utilizes 4-piston fixed caliper brakes. Its 490 horsepower dual motor smart all wheel drive electric platform incorporates an induction motor up front and a permanent magnet motor in the rear, paired with one of three battery packs 75 kWh with 240 miles, 100 with 310, or a 150 kWh pack with 440 miles. With 516 pound feet of torque, the quickest 0 to 60 time of the ED5 is quoted at 4.3 seconds. As usual, the brand puts a heavy emphasis on technological superiority of the model. Hence, the autonomous driving tag features a lighter coupled with 32 different sensors, cameras and radars, the internal environment is managed by the Nomi AI Assistant, and the Peno Cinema Cockpit creates an immersive digital experience with a 10.2-inch driver's cluster and a 12.8-inch AMOLED infotainment. Finally, the interior adopts a simple and minimalistic styling with a 256-color ambient lighting, a 23-speaker Dolby Atmos audio and the segment's largest panoramic roof with a 13.7 square feet area. NEO ES8 Launched in 2018 in China, the ES8 was NEO's first mass-market model, so naturally it also became the first one to expand beyond the domestic market. This full-size SUV started sales in Norway late last year, and in 2022 it should be arriving to other European Union countries, including Sweden, Germany and Denmark. The exterior design of the model remains unchanged from the 2020 facelift, while the drivetrain system still relies on two motors with 544 horses peak. Here the SUV gets two battery sizes, 75 and 100 kWh, 
rated for 233 and 311 WLTP miles. As in China, the European version ES8 is offered in 6 and 7 seater layouts with a flex cargo area, optional nap upholstery, and ambient interior lighting. The cabin benefits from firmware over the air updates. The new pilot system incorporates 25 standard assist features, and the digital cockpit includes a 9.8 inch digital dashboard and an 11.3 inch infotainment screen. If you want to learn more about the Chinese, Indian, and other Asian car makers, make sure to like this video and leave your request in the comment section below. Let's proceed. NEO ET7 NEO chooses to follow the traditional configuration of its lineup, also used by the European luxury car makers. Therefore, the ET7 full size executive sedan becomes the flagship model of the brand and absorbs all of the NEO's technological achievements. This car measures nearly 201 inches in length, has the class leading wheelbase of 118.5 inches, and rides on a smart air suspension with continuous damping and 4D dynamic control. The bodywork was designed to maximize aerodynamics and achieves a 0.2 drag coefficient. Built on the NT2.0 platform, the 87 relies on a dual motor all wheel drivetrain with 653 horses, 627 pound feet, and 0 to 16 pH acceleration capability of 3.9 seconds. Three battery sizes are on offer 70, 100, and 150 kWh, packing up to 440 real world miles. Neo describes the cabin of the 87 as spacious, refined, and cozy. It blends together modern materials like renewable retin from tropical rainforests, nappa leather, and the microfiber headliner. The car has discrete air vents with air filtration, and all of its seats are equipped with heating, massage, and ventilation. The technology package includes the second generation digital cockpit with a 10.2 inch screen, Nomi Assistant, and a 12.8 inch central infotainment. Finally, as standard, the ED7 is equipped with a 714 immersive sound Dolby Atmos sound system with 23 speakers and a 20 channel amplifier. NEO Battery Swap Besides a solid lineup of electric vehicles, NEO is also taking a page out of Tesla's playbook and simultaneously develops a network of charging stations. Within this NEO power network, there are locations that house the so-called PowerSwap 2.0 stations that are subject to 1600 patents. Interestingly, this is the technology that was abandoned by Elon Musk almost a decade ago, but NEO chose to power through and cooperated with Sinopec, China's oil and gas giant. Using this technology, every new automobile can replace a depleted battery in a fully autonomous manner, controlled with 239 sensors. Plus, each swap will be accompanied with a powertrain self-inspection. The process takes just three minutes, so NEO estimates that the daily turnover will reach 312 vehicles per station. Sinopec has already deployed 2,000 stations, and in the next couple of years, they have vouched to increase this number to 5,000. NEO EC6 The only Coupe SUV from the company enters the 2022 model here with a bunch of minor updates that are aimed at boosting buyer confidence and convenience. Among these are a lifetime warranty and road assistance, free charger for your home, and up to six free battery swaps. The design of the EC6 remains unchanged from the previous years. The sloping roof allows for a 0.26 drag coefficient, while the front end flaunts the familiar X-shaped design. The SUV's dual-motor all-wheel drive system continues to produce 544 horsepower and 534 pound-feet. Acceleration to 60 takes 4.5 seconds, but the battery sizes were unified with the rest of the new range to make the battery swapping possible. The 75 kWh pack should offer around 225 miles, while the larger 100 kWh module is good for 300 miles. The interior of the EC6 stays true to the NEO's unmistakable design. It is minimalistic, but still incorporates lavish materials and advanced tech.
Do you agree that NEO's techno-luxury approach might be a perfect winning formula to capture the Western markets? Which model would you choose for your own automotive park? Let's have a productive conversation in the comment section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory if you haven't already, ring the bell, and remember to stand with Ukraine. May the torque be with you!